meteorologist Jesse Gonkel, two-time recipient of the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Welcome back. Well, we're going to have a little change of pace. Tomorrow should be absolutely beautiful. Tomorrow's going to be one of those days to be outdoors from start to finish. Get out there and get some of that fresh air because we've got a lot of sunshine and very comfortable conditions heading into tomorrow afternoon. The humidity levels will be nice and low out there and our daytime highs will eventually climb into the upper 70s. Looking at your current satellite and radar picture, we've got a couple clouds now, but the majority of those clouds will move on as we head into the morning hours of tomorrow. The winds will be nice and light. You can watch our future track here and you can see that those clouds will kind of kick off towards the east by around 6, 7 o'clock. The winds will be out of the north. That's going to bring in that stable air. That's key because we haven't had that for a few days. But yes, we've got clear skies, light winds out there, some sunshine, a gorgeous day all around. And then as we move into Monday, we start out nice and dry. We'll see a couple clouds enter the picture, probably late day, but still a dry day. And then we wait on that next aggressive cold front, which looks like it's going to drive in late on Tuesday going into Wednesday. And that once again will bring us another round of showers and storms and maybe another round of severe weather. So we're quiet and dry for at least the next 48 hours. We bring back some storms late Tuesday heading into Wednesday. It's a pretty unsettled pattern because, well, it looks like that front stalls out and we've got showers and storms all the way at least until Saturday before we dry out again. But at least because of the rainfall, the cloud cover, our temperatures will be a little bit more seasonable as we'll see those highs sit in the 70s. Live tower cam, it's now 77 out there. We do have some periods of sunshine, still a couple clouds hanging on, but there were some periods of blue skies early today. Winds out of the southwest at seven miles per hour. So again, not too bad of a light breeze as you plan out your night. Partly cloudy, clearing by early morning as those temperatures eventually drop into the mid 50s by early morning. So here is that big picture. You can see that front continues to drive towards the east. That's what ignited all those thunderstorms, those very violent thunderstorms early in the morning. As you see here, high pressure builds in on the backside. That's going to keep us nice and quiet out there for a short period. Notice our next system. That's going to dig down in our area by Tuesday. And then as you see that tail end kind of stalls out a little bit giving us a chance for rain for at least a couple days. And when you look at the long range forecast for at least the next five days, yeah, we're dry Sunday, Monday. However, when you start up adding the totals again, we're in that one to two inch category locally. We could see some higher months, especially near the coast as we move towards, say, late Tuesday, Wednesday and potentially Thursday of next week. So here's the story for tonight. We're going to see clearing skies out there around 11 p.m. 66 degrees as we head into early morning. 61 will drop those temperatures around daybreak just around 56 degrees, but we'll start out the day with plenty of sunshine and some very light winds tomorrow. We'll see those daytime highs climb into the upper 70s out there. Rather comfortable. That's where we should be sitting for mid April. Lots of sunshine, a nice little breeze at times. And here's that seven day picture for you. We go from 55 in the morning. We'll climb to 79 and sunny. We'll drop it back down to about 56 overnight. 83 heading into your Monday. Still mostly dry out there. Maybe a couple clouds out there. We'll see our next batch of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Most storms again arrive Tuesday night into Wednesday. Potentially some could be strong and we'll have to watch it as it gets a little bit closer. So stay weather aware. But notice once that next system drives through, it should be pushing far enough south that our highs dip into the mid 70s. Overnight lows return back into the 50s and we'll keep ourselves into the 70s and hopefully a drier pattern by the end of next weekend.